Hey everybody, this is Kressel Snapdragon again for a third Mix It Up Bot tutorial. We're going to do another advanced chat command tutorial. This one's going to be dedicated to 8-ball-esque commands that generate random responses every time you use the command. I have a few already made here. I have hug, kiss, pat, and slap. I'll show you what they do if we go to the chat here. And let's just say that I want to hug my bot. Crestle Snap Dragon hugged Crestle Snap. I sense romance in the air. So that's a random response that it pulled from a text file that I created myself. It's really easy to do. Let's get started and I'll show you how to do it. So we're going to go to new command, advanced command. I'm going to do one for kick. And I'm going to put it under my group, which is 8-ball. But again, if you don't already have a group for it, just write a new group name or you can just leave it ungrouped, that's perfectly fine. We're going to give it a trigger, and we're going to give it a cooldown. So, this is where it gets a little bit different. We're going to go to Action, and what we're going to choose is File, Read and Write. So we're actually going to create a text file with all the responses that it can possibly generate. So we're going to go File, Read and Write, and we're going to make it read a random line from the file. Now we have to go make a text file. So open up your notepad and we're just going to create a few potential responses. So let's say you have to think about what it's going to say in the first place. So Crestle Snapdragon kicked Crestle Snap. Ouch, that hurt. Why did you do that? How about we do, you can also put the special identifiers in here as well that we were talking about in the first video. And you can create as many responses as you want in the text file. Each response has to have its own line though because it's going to be pulling from separate lines. So once you have a few responses, I would at least have five. Go save as, make sure you save it in a particular folder. I'm going to name it kick. And now we're going to go back to mix it up. We're going to browse. And we're going to have it read from that file. And now we have to give it a name, like the counters, right? It stores the count under a particular name. We need it to store the response under a particular name. So the identifier is going to be response. And now we're going to go to chat message, and it's going to say at username kicked at target username. And if you remember from the first video, username is the special identifier for the person who triggered the command. Target username is the special identifier for the target of the command. And then we're going to write response. So now where it has response, which again was the title of the files command, where it stores the response, it's then going to put the response at the end here. So we're going to save this. Now we can go test it. We're going to kick Cressel Snap. Crestle Snap Dragon kicked Crestle Snap. Crestle Snap kind of liked that. Hashtag RAR. So that is how you make sort of an 8-ball-esque command that generates a random response. And I would give them cooldowns so that they're not spammed entirely too much. Maybe not 500 seconds, but some amount of cooldown. At least 60 seconds, maybe. And that is it. That is how you make that type of command. So go forth and make some really cool stuff.